Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. And we're going to bring you some more wrestling on the channel from an undisclosed location. We bring you Super Tournament 1, sanctioned by no wrestling body. Location will not be told. These are unsanctioned matches. And our first bout of the tournament. Woo! The Nature Boy, Ric Flair, will take on Dick the Bruiser. Ric Flair is the favorite in this matchup. Flair, six foot one, approximately 243 pounds. Dick the Bruiser, six foot one, 261 pounds. Crowd noise will stay the way it is. I don't know how to turn it down. I'm sure I'll talk loud enough over it. Again, this is an undisclosed location for Super Tournament 1. You can see the matchups here. We'll go over them quickly. Flair versus Dick the Bruiser. The Destroyer versus The Crusher. Hulk Hogan takes on Dusty Rhodes. Lex Luger versus Bruiser Brody. Triple H against Chris Adams. Jeff Jarrett takes on Haystacks Calhoun. Shawn Michaels against Abdullah the Butcher. Terry Funk versus Stan Hansen. I actually think they were tag team partners at one point in Japan. Chris Jericho against Ken Patera. Rick Martel versus Nick Bockwinkle. Bob Backlund versus Pedro Morales. Gorgeous George. For a second time, he's got to wrestle Andre the Giant. That's not going to be pretty. Vern Gagne versus The Rock. Bill Goldberg, a.k.a. Goldberg, versus Buddy Rod Roberts. Stone Cold Steve Austin against Bruno Sammartino. Britt, the Hitman Hart, versus superstar Billy Graham. Right. This is a lights out match. No disqualification. You must bludgeon your opponent into submission. Let's take a quick look at sounds. Yeah, you can't turn it down. Yeah, that's just random sound. Well, we're going to stick with what we have. All right, here we go. Both grapplers are in the ring. The referee's just there to see who gets bludgeoned. And the match starts. Ric Flair nails Dick the Bruiser with a reverse chop and goes, woo! Flair maintains control. Flair chops away. Dick Bruiser absorbing all of it. Ric Flair takes the Bruiser off his feet and applies a claw hold. This is not his specialty. Flair's asking the referee, ask him, ask him. One, two, and the bruiser powers out of it. So Ric Flair goes for the early submission. Ric Flair's still in control. And again, chopping away. Woo! To the crowd he goes. Flair playing to the crowd, turns and Dick the Bruiser pokes him in the eyes with an eye gouge. Dick the Bruiser goes for the kick and he nails Ric Flair upon the side of his head. Flair goes to his knees, stumbles back to the ropes. Dick the Bruiser goes for the choke, looking to choke out Ric Flair. One. One more! Two! Ric Flair! Double 
slap to the ears, and Dick the Bruiser finally drops him. What a mighty choke it was from Dick the Bruiser. Dick the Bruiser with a closed fist nails Ric Flair, and Flair flops to the canvas. Dick the Bruiser gets Ric Flair up. He looks for the chop. Ric Flair blocks it. Ric Flair goes for a kick. The Bruiser catches his leg. And what's going to go on here? David. Oh, boy, is he. Oh, Ric Flair blasts a chair shot across the... I'm sorry, Dick the Bruiser blasts a chair shot across Ric Flair's head as he threw him out of the ring. Ric Flair is a bloody mess, crimson in that blonde hair of his. Holy cow, Ric, this would be a huge upset, folks. Flair rolls back in the ring. Dick the Bruiser pursues. And it, now, they're outside the ring again. Oh, boy, is he. And it's this time, it's Ric Flair. Nails Dick the Bruiser with a chair shot, and he's busted open. The wrestlers stumble back into the ring. They tie up Ric Flair. Now a feat of strength. Both grapplers lose concentration. Bruiser nails Flair with a chop. The blood's impeding his vision. Dick the Bruiser and Corks, several more chops. He sends Flair to the canvas. He's going for the pin. One. And Flair kicks out. Blood all over the map. Dick the Bruiser setting up his specialty. He goes for the stomach claw. Flair writhing in pain. One. The Bruiser's asking. Two. And Flair puts his foot on the ropes. Dick the Bruiser goes for the nut shot, and Flair goes down like a pile of bricks. He is in pain. Dick the Bruiser screaming at the audience, I got him now. Dick the Bruiser again picks up Flair. Brings him across the knees, and that groin is a hurting. Bruiser goes for the pin. One, two, and Flair kicks out. Flair kicks out. Flair takes control. Flair trying to set up his specialty move. A kick to Bruiser stomach. Flair goes for the Powell driver. The Bruiser counters. Sends Flair into the ropes, comes off the ropes, and he is met with a high knee, and Flair flops to the canvas head over heels. Bruiser picks him up. He's going for the suplex. Flair hooks the leg, blocks it. Now Ric Flair attempts the suplex, but Bruiser blocks it by hooking the leg. Back and forth they go, and outside the ring they go. As Dick the Bruiser mauls Flair all around the ring. He is battering Flair. He rams him into the post. Now into the guardrail. Back into the ring. Dick the Bruiser picks up Flair by his bloody hair. And he goes for the scoop slam. And boom! And Flair is in pain. The Bruiser goes for the pin one two and flair kicks out at two unbelievable flair puts a knee to the bruiser's groin and unloads a drop kick and the bruiser goes back into the ropes flair staggers back tries to regroup but dick the bruiser has control 
He's setting him up, trying to finish him with the pile driver, and he nails it! Oh, he nails the pile driver on the Nature Boy, Ric Flair. No woos coming from Rick right now. The Bruiser's got to cover him up. He doesn't hook the leg, though. One, two. And Flair gets his shoulder up just in time. Needed to hook that leg, Dick the Bruiser. Again, Dick the Bruiser scoops up Flair. It's a choke. It's a choke. He has Flair off his feet. What strength by Dick the Bruiser. And he slams him to the canvas. And again, he covers him for the pin. One. And Flair puts his foot on the ropes. The crowd starting to go, woo! Past the 10 minute mark, lights out, no DQ match, Dick the Bruiser trying to catch his breath. And Ric Flair throws Dick the Bruiser out of the ring. Dick the Bruiser charged towards him and he went out of the ring. Flair flipped him over the ropes. The battle leaves the ring and heads to the arena floor. Both wrestlers bashing the bejesus out of one another. Blood flowing profusely as the battle rages. Over and over again, good God almighty, chair shots, kicks, punches, a slam into the announcer's table. Now both bloody wrestlers roll back into the ring. Dick the Bruiser with a closed fist, nails Ric Flair, and he drops to the canvas. And now Dick the Bruiser, Bruiser stomps away upon the legs and midsection of the nature boy Ric Flair. The Bruiser on top of Ric Flair. He is pummeling with a closed fist. The referee's counting, but there's no DQ. Dick the Bruiser looking for the upset here in the first bout of Super Tournament 1. And finally, Dick the Bruiser begrudgingly stops pounding him. Flair has control, goes for the chop to the throat. And he nails Dick the Bruiser. Bruiser grasping for breath. Flair bleeding. He's stepping away right now, trying to catch his breath. He's gonna counter Dick the Bruiser. Flair takes Dick the Bruiser off his feet. He puts the leg lock on him. He's trying to set up the figure four. But Dick the Bruiser tries to get out of it. Flair tries to eye gouge him. Dick the Bruiser counters. He picks up Flair. A flying body slam. Oh boy. Flair motionless on the canvas. Dick the Bruiser covers him up, but he does not hook the leg. One, two, and Flair kicks out once again. Dick the Bruiser really dishing out the punishment to the nature boy, Ric Flair. Both grapplers bloodied and tired as we come upon the 15 minute mark. Ric Flair. Puts a knee into Dick the Bruiser's groin. Bent over in pain is Dick the Bruiser. And Flair nails him with a forearm uppercut, sending Dick the Bruiser back into the ropes, snapping his head. Flair whips Dick the Bruiser into the ropes. And it's a double throat chop. And Dick the Bruiser rolling around in agonizing pain. Flair. Drops the elbow right upon the cranium of Dick the Bruiser. Flair coming on. Both grapplers are a bloody mess. Flair now turns to the crowd and goes, Woo! Chris Anderson has joined us here at the undisclosed location for the unsanctioned wrestling matches along with Dave Little, Robbie Warper, Dave Gardner, and Brandon Baker. Flair turns, 
He looks to nail Dick the Bruiser. Bruiser blocks it. Bruiser sends Flair out of the ring as he whipped him over the top rope. Dick the Bruiser continues to stop on Flair on the ring apron as Flair tried to enter. He's just pounding away, pounding away, pounding away. Now, Dick the Bruiser sends Flair into the corner and face first into the turnbuckle. The crowd counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And Dick the Bruiser sends him down by his hair to the canvas. The Bruiser puts his arms up. He says he's going to finish him off. Now he starts to work on Flair's arm. He has him on the canvas. Now Dick the Bruiser. Flair back to his feet. And what a shot! A closed fist! And Flair takes two steps and goes face first into the canvas, which is now smeared with both grapplers blood. Dick the Bruiser goes for the pin. One. He doesn't hook the leg though. Two. And Flair kicks out. Dick the Bruiser's gotten the better of Ric Flair in this matchup. We approach the 20 minute mark. Flair turns and he rakes Dick the Bruiser's face. Flair falls back into the ropes. Dick the Bruiser scoops him up, charges towards the center of the ring, and it's a flying body slam as he slams Ric Flair. My God, he bounced off that canvas three feet. And now he goes for the pin again on Flair. One, the Nature Boy could be done. Two, and the Nature Boy just kicks out. That time, Bruiser. Greg Gorecki's joined us here. That time the Bruiser almost hooked the leg. He is wearing down Ric Flair. No woos coming from the Nature Boy now. Dick the Bruiser winds up again with that closed fist. Flair flailing away on the ropes and the Bruiser just pounding away. And again the crowd counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, the Bruiser stops, winds up, 10, and he smacks Flair. Flair trapped in the ropes. The Bruiser moves in, Flair goes to counter. Flair, knees Dick the Bruiser. What surprising strength by Ric Flair, he scoops him up, and he nails him with a body slam, and now Flair hooks the leg. One. What a comeback for Ric Flair! Two. Oh, but Dick the Bruiser kicks out. Could that be the last ditch effort for the Nature Boy Ric Flair? Or has the tide of battle turned? And now Ric Flair starts to walk away from Dick the Bruiser. He's a bloody mess. Dick the Bruiser goes to grab him, but Flair turns and nails him with a closed fist. And Dick the Bruiser goes down to a knee. Flair puts Dick the Bruiser in a headlock. Trying to grind him down. Flair now takes Dick the Bruiser, takes that headlock and brings him over to the canvas. He takes him down. He starts working on the legs, trying to set up that figure four. Now both grapplers up on their feet. Flair goes to the ropes. It's a flying mare and he brings Dick the Bruiser down to the canvas. Flair hooks the leg. One, two. Dick the Bruiser kicks out. We're past the 20 minute mark. Unbelievable match here. Flair goes for a bear hug. That is not his best submission move. Flair really trying to grip it in. The referee is asking Dick the Bruiser. Two. And Dick the Bruiser claps his hands over Flair's ears and Flair lets go. Flair puts Dick the Bruiser in a headlock and he's grinding away. He's cranking away. 
again trying to cut off that blood flow to the brain of Dick the Bruiser. Flair in control, has him in the headlock, and he nails him with five straight punches. Flair again takes Dick the Bruiser to the canvas, and he stomps away on the big man's shoulders. Flair goes for another stomp. Dick the Bruiser catches him, pushes him back. Flair avoids the punch, scoops up Dick the Bruiser, and he slams into the canvas. Flair goes for the pin. One, two. And Dick the Bruiser kicks out. Unbelievable match here. Flair goes for the pin attempt again. He's holding the trunks. And the referee breaks it, and Flair's screaming at him. There's no holds barred. Oh, the ref made a mistake there. Ric Flair goes into the ankle lock. He's setting up the figure four. Ric Flair nails Dick the Bruiser with an elbow smash as the Bruiser is on the canvas. Ric Flair again, for some reason, goes to the bear hug. Bear hug, he should be going to the figure four. One, two, and again, the bruiser gets out of it, this time raking the nature boy's eyes. Flair, again, tries to slow down Dick the bruiser. Oh, they're a bloody mess, both of these guys. Cranking that headlock. The bruiser throws Ric Flair towards the ropes. But Flair grabs onto the ropes. The bruiser sends is a mess. Flair. Oh, he is a mess. Towards the ropes. Flair delivers a clothesline and the bruiser is knocked outside the ring. It is a huge cut now. Another cut over the left eyebrow. Victor Bruiser's taking a beating in this match now. Flair's turned it around. Flair continues to pummel him. Now both grapplers back in the ring. Flair trying to work the legs of Dick the Bruiser. Now they're to their feet. Flair tries to send the Bruiser to the ropes. Dick the Bruiser counters. Holds on to Flair's arm. And he puts Flair in a wrist lock. Now Dick the Bruiser tries to turn that into a suplex. Flair blocks it brilliantly. Flair unloads an uppercut. And Dick the Bruiser snaps his chin and he goes backwards into the ropes. Dick the Bruiser comes off the ropes with a closed fist. Flair blocks it. And someone's coming into the ring. Who is it? But they are stopped from coming into the ring. Holy cow, this match is nuts. Ric Flair goes for the chop. And he nails Dick the Bruiser in the throat. Bruiser goes down to a knee. Flair goes to the ropes, comes off the ropes. Double chop to Dick the Bruiser as he's on his knees. Dick the Bruiser goes backwards. Ric Flair goes for the pin. He's hooked the leg. One, two. And it's over. And he gets quit. Ric Flair comes all the way back to defeat Dick the Bruiser. Unbelievable, both grapplers are a bloody mess. The canvas is full of crimson and it's not paint. Dick the Bruiser looked like he had this match in the palm of his hands. But the nature boy Ric Flair battled all the way back to pin him at the 27 minute mark of the lights out, no DQ match. Ric Flair will advance in Super Tournament 1. We have Dave Little at ringside going, woo! Brandon Baker, woo! C and D, Baseball TV, our good friend Tony's here. D Scott Howard says, I always love Dick the bruiser as a kid Greg Garecki thank you very much Chris Anderson Robbie Warper Dave Gardner and Brandon Baker hockey unreal I'm here too late with my flare win pick 
Brandon Baker styling and profiling. So Ric Flair comes all the way back. Dick the Bruiser, he had him in a lot of trouble. Let's just go over the stats real quick. What I like about this is the pin. It's pretty easy to follow certain things. So a pin or a submission, you see 40, 40, 11. Well, they have to either be equal to or lower. I think in my last video, I by accident said uh, higher, but I was wrong. It's So it has to be 40, 40, and 11. And as Dick the Bruiser or Ric Flair gets worn down, those numbers start to go up. Obviously, the better the wrestler you are, the better the wrestler you are, the better your numbers are. Um, so you can see 32 is under 40, 8 is under 40, and 10 is under 11. So Ric Flair comes back and gets the pin. Ric Flair, he, in those last couple of minutes of the match... He ended up having times in control 49 times. Dick the Bruiser, 39. Counters, Ric Flair countered five. Dick the Bruiser countered six. Uh, Ric Flair had lapses in concentration, though. Auto control lost four times. Dick the Bruiser once. Pin attempts, Dick the Bruiser had nine pin attempts. I believe that also includes submission holds. Ric Flair only three, but the third one was the charm, and he defeats... Dick the Bruiser. Specialty attempts. Only one. And we had some chair shots that busted both wrestlers open. And he didn't even get his specialty attempt. It was not successful. Dick the Bruiser had two specialty attempts. And they were both successful. But Dick the Bruiser could not pull off the upset. And he is out of Super Tournament 1. And now we click done. Ric Flair advances to the next round. And Ric Flair had Dick the Bruiser on the canvas. I had him coming off the ropes. I changed some of the description. To me, it fits a little better. So he came off the ropes with a double chop to the neck. And the momentum, he carried Dick the Bruiser right over, hooked the leg, and one, two, three, it is over. Came at 27 minutes and 25 seconds of the lights out, no DQ match. A lot of blood, a lot of damage. Uh... Ric Flair had 315 points of damage. Dick the Bruiser, 310. Ric Flair was... His cuts were 66 points in damage. Dick the Bruiser, 48. So Dick the Bruiser did dole out a lot of damage. As Chris Anderson says, Dick was not a finisher. No, he wasn't. I am not Gordon Soley. <laughs> I wish I was. I used to love wrestling so much. So again, now we're going to show you the bracket real quick. Bring the bracket back up. So Ric Flair will meet the winner of the next match, the Destroyer or the Crusher. The Destroyer, a fan favorite of D. Scott Howard. And then after that, the third match will be Hulk Hogan and Dusty Rhodes. So we got some big matches coming up. I'm going to try to play them all online. I don't know how good this is going to sound later when I check it out. I don't know how to turn the crowd sound down. I'll try to figure that out after, but I've never been able to figure it out. Were you able to hear me? I think I spoke loud enough. Dave Gardner didn't like the crowd sound, and I get that, but I don't know how to turn it down. I don't think you can. And again, this makes me laugh. Blind draw and Gorgeous George gets Andre the Giant. He's already I think he actually won on DQ against Andre the Giant. Oh no, he lost. Someone came in the ring after him. But there's a lot of interesting matchups here. Lex Luger, Bruiser Brody. I think they actually wrestled in the 80s against each other. Triple H, Chris Adams. Jeff Jarrett, Haystacks, Calhoun. I think Jeff Jarrett got an, uh, a pretty good matchup there. Shawn Michaels, Abdullah the Butcher. Terry Funk, Stan Hansen. I'm pretty sure they were tag team partners in Japan. Chris Jericho, Ken Patera. Rick Martel, Nick Bachman. Bob Backman, Pedro Morales. Gorgeous George is going to get annihilated by Andre the Giant unless he hits him with perfume. Vern Gagne versus The Rock. Goldberg versus Buddy Roberts. Steve Stone Cold Steve Austin versus Bruno San Martino. Brett the Hitman Hart. Superstar Billy Graham. 
So our next match on the channel, again, we have to go in order. The Destroyer versus the Crusher. Let's hit OK. And that match was 4.5 stars. It was tremendous. The fans here at the undisclosed location, which only myself and Chris Anderson know, really enjoyed that match. No sanctioning bodies. No AWA. No NWA. No WWF, WWE. Nothing. No ECW. This is how secret this is. D. Scott Howard says, My money is in the is in the destroyer that's for sure he always wanted someone to pull that mask off chris anderson backland versus morales yes our good friend hockey unreal please check out that youtube channel lots of fun he says he hopes dusty finds a way to beat the hulk all right now let's i want to save let's see post action Let's see what happens. No post action. Save the match text. Yes. Okay. Now let's go back to tournaments. Play tournament. Okay, so now it comes up again. That's pretty cool. And you can see Ric Flair's advanced. The top four, so obviously the person who wins the tournament, the next three, will be automatic qualifiers for Super Tournament 2 if and when we ever do that, but I figure that'd be kind of cool. So the Destroyer versus the Crusher. And I don't want to hit start next match because once you do that, you have to play it. There we have it. So Ric Flair is the winner. Hope everyone enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you're watching later and you haven't subscribed and you want to, hit the sub button, share, all that good stuff. But come back for the next match. Probably do it in a day or so. We're going to go do some football tomorrow. Patriots, Colts most likely. Or we'll do the Red Sox, Yankees, 1950 versus 1961. Red Sox up 3-0 could finish off the Yankees in Fenway. So something's coming up on the channel tomorrow if I am able to do it. So once again, thank you to D. Scott Howard, Robbie Wartberg, Chris Anderson, Hockey Unreal. Check out that wonderful YouTube channel, All Things Hockey, Card and Dice. It's awesome, all kinds of different games. Quick play to medium play. Brandon Baker, thank you. Dave Little, thank you. Check out his wonderful channel. C&D Baseball TV with Tony Porter, another wonderful card and dice baseball channel. Greg Garecki, our good friend from the Great White North in O Canada. Hope all is well. And, of course, Dave Gardner. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Ric Flair Woo! is the winner over Bruiser Brody in a bloody match that was 4.5 stars out of 5. Went 27 minutes and 27 seconds. Ric Flair off the ropes with a double chop as he goes diving to Bruiser Brody who's on his knees. Double chop to the neck. Carries him right over with the momentum. Hooks the leg. 1, 2, 3. Ric Flair advances in the tournament. And before we go, our next match. D. Scott Howard's going to like this one. The Destroyer versus The Crusher. The winner to get Ric Flair in the next round. Thank you very much for your time. God bless. You know what's coming, folks. Peace. Love you all.